Stu, who do you think, um, who's going to wind up being the vice president? I, I think it's Kamala Harris. And I, and I think that the Politico article that was leaked the, uh, a little early mm-hmm. kind of hints to maybe that's uh, a certainty almost. I think it's some evidence that he's, maybe the campaign was even working with Politico on some things they were going to say and it got released too soon or something. <laughs> and now they're like, okay, well, we can't announce it now because it'll look too close to the, it'll be too close to the Politico situation. I mean, it does happen. Yeah. That sort of thing does happen. <clears throat> the other side of it does happen though, too, where uh, an online publication writes, you know, this person won for every single candidate they have and then they do. clicks the wrong one. They do, but they don't pub- usually put quotes from right. the people in it. They might put- Like this had. Uh, fill in quote here. Yes. That they might do. Yes. Uh, but they don't usually have a well-developed quote. Because they wait for the actual <laughs> quote to yes, come out. Uh, yeah. And then they just put the quote in there and now it can be posted. Yeah. And, so. and it seems that most people believe Kamala is the choice. And there's some reasons for that, right? She you know, she had her, a couple of good moments. Her best mm-hmm. moment, obviously, calling Joe Biden a racist. <laughs> so obviously she's going to be the choice because she was right on that, right? Yes. She, they, they were like, wow, you know. Mm. These other candidates didn't point out the truth that Joe Biden is a racist, so we must select Kamala Harris, the only person brave enough to really pull that accusation off with credibility. Uh, it's a strange choice it there is. from that perspective. It's also a strange choice from the from a you know party who is moving far, far left that wants to defund the police. One of the issues Kamala had in the primary was she was a prosecutor. She put people in prison and in and, and jail for all sorts of minor crimes and went after... Uh, African-Americans too often, as they told us, all throughout the campaign. And what we're supposed to be doing instead is clearing out the prisons. Yeah. We should be releasing all prisoners right now right. and sending them right back out and giving them back their voting rights and you know, pay them reparations and all kinds of things. It's the complete opposite of what she was doing. Yeah, so there's two ways to look at that. It's very strange, mm-hmm. right, that they mm-hmm. would do that. <laughs> it seems like an odd choice for a party in the position they're at. The other way to look at it, though, is it's very smart. I mean, you know, I think... One of the things you have to do if you have Joe Biden right now is to resist the accusation that you're AOC, that you're an Antifa member, right? With all the stuff going on, all the justification this party has done over time, it's not easy to do something like that. The best defense they have is that Joe Biden is old and it doesn't seem like he could possibly relate to the woke crowd. When he tries to do it, he's so bad at it mm-hmm. that you know that is actually helping him with voters. Because if he if he spoke the intersectional language with fluency, the voters would look at him and say, oh, I don't want this person running our country. He's so bad at it mm-hmm. that people in the middle right now are saying, I know that's what they say, but look at this guy. He's he is not he's not an Antifa member. He's like 175 years old. He's right. not convincing at all in that role. So that's helping them. Bring bring on a Kamala Harris, and you could say, we're not going to defund the police. We brought on a prosecutor as our vice president. If they're doing it for that reason, it's it's an interesting strategic choice and maybe a good one. I will say this about Kamala Harris, though. She is she's your uh, Terrell Owens, uh, it, to, to use a football reference. You know, she may be a talented politician, and she's she's shown some promise in that in that way. But man, the second things start going bad, she's going to be stabbing you in the back to the media constantly this is Mm -hmm. who she is she is she's not a team player i mean think she went on stage and basically called joe biden a racist now joe biden is a a person who is forget everything you know all all of our feelings about joe biden because i think Mm -hmm. he'd be a miserable president but here's a guy who has been in the democratic party forever he Mm -hmm. served as the vice president for eight years this is someone that you don't there's no need to attack him that way if you're Kamala Harris. But she wanted to win so badly she said screw it. And that is exactly what she'll do if things start going poorly in this campaign. She will be setting up her 2024 run yeah. uh, if they get behind uh, and that will be her main focus, not winning for Joe Biden. And you know, she was like you said, she was right about his racism. I I think she was right. Um there is so much you're more not supposed evidence. to point that out, though. I know. If you're a Democrat. Uh, that's true. It's true. But uh, I'm going to point it out because <laughs> it's true. Yeah. And there's so much more evidence 
that Joe Biden is a racist than, than Donald Trump being one. And he's the one who's always, they act like that's all proven. Like there's complete evidence. Like they've proved positively that Donald Trump is a racist. Mm-hmm. Well, what's your proof on that? Show me. What has he ever done that, because I'm, I'm really not familiar with it. They always go to the, well, he called Mexican, he called Mexicans rapists. Oh, shut up. He didn't call all Mexicans rapists. He didn't do that. No. Uh, and But Joe Biden did say this about uh, Barack Obama. And that was that Barack Obama is the first sort of clean... I mean, you got the first... Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. Mainstream. mainstream. African-American. Yeah. Who is yeah. articulate and bright and... And uh-huh. clean, nice-looking guy. Right. I nice mean, looking. It's, that's a storybook, man. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> it's a storybook, is. man. That doesn't happen. You don't get clean, nice-looking, articulate African-Americans. It's like a unicorn, That's what Pat. he's saying. It's like a, a, yes. ma- a mystical unicorn. <laughs> yes. a, g- a clean African-American? What? Is that even possible? <laughs> I mean, seriously, that is the tone he's using there. It is. It's incredible. And this, I mean, if this was a Republican, he wouldn't be in office right now. In Delaware... The largest growth in population is Indian Americans uh-huh. moving from India. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts right. unless you have a slight Indian accent. So for, I'm not joking. He's not joking. And he's not joking. No, he That's not the beauty joking. of it. And see, the thing is, with Biden, his racism comes with a smile. Right. You know, it's del- it's hand-delivered yeah. with a smile. That's right. You know? His, yeah. Makes this it is, acceptable, This really. is okay. Uh-huh. It's Joe being Joe because he's smiling as he says these things. <laughs> these are just, you know, good old fesh. And that's what that's the excuse they're using to yeah. get past this, right? Like he is, ah, you know, he's a, he's a little old. He's a little fuddy-duddy. He does these things mm-hmm. we can't quite explain. But come on. We, we all know his intent isn't bad. Now, Donald Trump is another story. Mm-hmm. Donald Trump is bad. He's evil. He's he's doing these things because he hates people. Joe is just a little outdated. He just says these things. When he says, hey, if you won't vote for me, you ain't black. That's just him trying to relate to the people. And, you know, he doesn't quite understand how to do it.